Sir William Arthur Lewis. In 1979, William Arthur Lewis became the first black man to win a Nobel Prize in economics. He was awarded the Nobel Prize along with Theodore Schultz for pioneering research into economic development. Sir Arthur Lewis was a pioneer in the field of developmental economics. He developed the dual sector model and the theory of economic growth. The Nobel Prize Committee awarded the prize because of their particular consideration of the problems of developing countries. William Arthur Lewis was born in St. Lucia on January 23, 1915. His parents, who were both school teachers, had migrated there from Antigua about 12 years before that. Sir Arthur Lewis describes how at the age of seven he had to stay home for several weeks because of some ailment and his father elected to teach him so he would not fall behind. In fact, he taught him in three months as much as the school taught in two years, so upon returning to school he was moved from grade four to grade six. Unfortunately, his father died when he was seven, leaving his mother a widow with five sons ranging from age five to seventeen. Sir Arthur Lewis left school at 14, having completed the curriculum, and went on to work as a clerk in the civil service. Thereafter, he set for an examination for a St. Lucia government scholarship to a British university, but he was too young and would only be eligible in 1932. So in 1932, he sat for the examination and won the scholarship. The British government imposed a color bar in its colonies, so young blacks went in only for law or medicine, where they could make a living without government support. But he did not want to be a lawyer or a doctor. He wanted to be an engineer. But this seemed pointless since neither the government nor the white firms would employ a black engineer. Eventually, Arthur Lewis decided to study business administration, planning to return to St. Lucia for a job in the municipal service or in the private trade. He went to the London School of Economics to do a Bachelor of Commerce degree which offered accounting, business management, commercial law, and a little economics and statistics. He recalls that he had no idea in 1933 what economics was, but he did well in the subject from the start, and when he graduated in 1937 with first-class honors, the London School of Economics gave him a scholarship to do a PhD in industrial economics. In 1938, he was given a one-year teaching appointment, which was later converted into the usual four-year contract for an assistant lecturer in 1939. In 1948, at the age of 33, he became a full professor at the University of Manchester. In 1963, Arthur Lewis became a professor at Princeton University and then went to Barbados for years to set up the Caribbean Development Bank. In the 1950s and 1960s, as a result of numerous visits and stints in Africa and Asian countries, he published a book on developmental planning published in 1966. From the period of 1957 to 1963, he was a UN economic advisor to the Prime Minister of Ghana, a deputy managing director of the UN Special Fund, and vice chancellor of the University of the West Indies. From 1970 to 1974, he helped set up the Caribbean Development Bank. And so Sir Arthur Lewis will always be remembered as the first black man to win a Nobel Prize in economics.